What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another boxing video, and today, we're going to be talking about Mikey Garcia, Robert Easter Jr., the weigh-in. Um, it just happened probably a couple hours ago. Your boy, Mikey Garcia, came in at 135 on the dot. Robert Easter Jr. came in at 134. So, both of these guys are in shape. Um, may wait, and we will have a fight tomorrow night. And I can't wait for this fight to happen. Now, you guys let me know if you want to watch this fight and who do you think is going to win this fight. Now, all the experts, the majority of the experts are picking Mikey Garcia because Mikey Garcia has been very consistent with his work. Um, he hasn't been struggling. He's been dominating. You know what I'm saying? Within the last couple of years, um, especially since he, he's came back into the sport, he's been doing what he's have to do, and he's been very consistent with his work. Um, Robert Easter Jr., He's been struggling. His last two fights, he hasn't looked very good. Um, he fought um, for Tuna in his last fight, and he was struggling. A fight, for real, that could have went the other way, depending on who was watching it. But he struggled his last couple fights, and a lot of people were just like, why is he fighting the way he is fighting? I mean, this is a guy that's 5'11", and he gives up his height, and he just gives up so many advantages. He's fighting on the inside where he should be boxing, standing on the outside, being smart, but he just he he just doesn't stay consistent with the game plan. He starts off sharp, and then all of a sudden, the fight changes. You see what I'm saying? But I will say this: Robert Easter Jr. He has Cunningham in his corner far as the training. He has a new coach, so he should be in the best shape possible. This is the best Robert Easter Jr. You're going to see far as in shape wise. Now, far as performance wise, we don't have to wait and see. I think you will see improvements um, in Robert Easter Jr. The thing about it is, yeah, we can judge him based off his last couple fights and say, well, he's going to struggle this fight. But in all fighters, when they know they're going up against the best, they're going to train their hardest. So you best believe Robert Easter Jr. is going to train his hardest and tra did train his hardest. And that's why he, he went out there and got Cunningham for a reason. So he's going to take this very, very serious. Mikey Garcia, you already know he's training hard too. So... It's going to be um, an exciting fight, and I cannot wait. Um, like I said, you guys let me know who you think is going to win this fight. As of right now, if I have to pick a winner of this fight, I'll have to go with Mikey Garcia because he's very consistent, um, has incredible timing, and he has a lot of power. This is a guy that is very probably underweight, underrated as a boxer. He's very good, and his timing is probably... Some of the best I've seen in the sport of boxing, his timing. So we're going to have to wait and see if he can do that against a 5'11 fighter. Now, Robert Easter Jr., it's a fight that he can win. But if, you know, if he's basing it off his last couple a couple performances, then it's going to be a problem. And I'm not trying to really judge him off his last performances. I'm just saying, if he goes in there and he can stay consistent and use the tools that he really has, which is his height and, and length, and if he can just box and move the whole night, Robert Easter Jr. could win the fight if he does that. But he hasn't done it yet. So I'm not I'm not betting on the fact that he's going to finally start doing that tomorrow night. I'm going with a fighter that I know that's very consistent with his, uh, his work. And also, your boy Mikey Garcia, he's looking, I don't want to say he's looking past um, Robert Easter Jr. because he wants to fight Errol Spence next in December. So... We've been seeing a lot of reports and a lot of shit with Mikey Garcia and uh, Errol Spence Jr. Hopefully, Mikey Garcia is not overlooking Robert Easter Jr. because that would be a huge mistake. But I, like I said before, this fight will be a great fight. And it's a fight that either fighter could win, but I'm going to shoot for Mikey Garcia. I don't know, man. Robert Easter Jr., he's going to have to show everybody that he can really step up to the plate. Like I said, his last couple fights, I was rooting for him, going for him. You know, I always cheer for Robert Easter Jr., but <clears throat> that um, inconsistency with his work rate and, you know, taking the, taking his height and all that shit away, fighting on the inside, doing dumb shit, I kind of got tired of seeing that. Where a guy like Mikey Garcia, he's always sharp and, you know, very consistent with the game plan. So we going to see, man. We going to see. Robert Easter Jr., he could surprise the world, and he needs to. This is a fight that he has to show everybody that he can actually – Use the tools that he has to win the fight. He has a lot to prove tomorrow night.
And hopefully he can do it. I mean, like I said, I want I want mind seeing Robert Easton Jr. proving everybody wrong. But then again, you just don't know. But we're gonna see, man. But leave your comments, everything below. Let me know what you think of the fight. Are you watching the fight? It will be tomorrow night on Showtime. I believe it's starting at 10 o'clock. So make sure you check it out. But I will be talking about the fight. I will do my breakdown tomorrow night. So be looking out for that, man. But I'm going out of here. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace. Western road flows, my confidence level getting settled. Don't get hyped for the moment that start to backpedal. Don't let your newfound fame fool you. Cloud up your judgment to talk loosely. I really do this. Been flowing stupid since Vince Carter was on some through the legs arm and a hoop shit. Drinking hypnotic with Glenn Lewis. I've been through.